Hello everyone, welcome to Programming for Beginners. My name is Bittersweet and I'm a software engineer specializing in iOS app development. This course is designed for absolute beginners, so if you've never coded before, if you're curious about how coding works, or uh, if you just want to brush up on your understanding of the programming fundamentals, then you're in the right place. I really want to share my passion for programming with more people and hopefully get more people to be excited about joining the world of tech. So let's get started. So what is programming exactly? Programming is a way to communicate with the computer and tell it to perform actions using languages that the computer can understand, which is in code. Writing code is what we call coding, and you may hear the word coding or programming used interchangeably by developers. Uh, when I first started learning how to code, the biggest question that I had was, how does a computer understand the code that I write? So before I dive into how to code, I want to give you a very high level introduction to how does the computer work. At the lowest level, the computer is composed of many, many tiny switches. Think of a light switch. Each switch has two possible states. We have an off state and an on state. This could also be represented by a zero and a one. If we combine many, many of these switches together, we can create many, many possible combinations of states. And this is why the computer can store very complicated information and logic. And this is also the reason that at the lowest level, the computer can only understand zeros and ones, what we call binary code or machine code. Of course, to directly code in zeros and ones or flip these little switches would be extremely difficult. The code that we usually write in, for example, you may see something like print 2 plus 3, which tells the computer to add up 2 and 3 and print the result to the screen. Code like this is written in a much more human readable format, and this is what we call a high level code. High level codes are written in high level coding languages such as Java. C++ or Python, which is what this example is written in, and etc. The high-level code is eventually translated into machine code, but first through an intermediary layer of code called assembly code. Assembly code is still somewhat readable by human compared to pure zeros and ones. And the translation is done by something we call a compiler. A compiler is a special program that translates one programming language into another programming language, like a translator. The assembly code is then further translated into machine code by another compiler. So this is at a high level, how does the code that you write in the high level coding language gets eventually translated into machine code into zeros and ones and understood and executed by the computer. So how do you write your code? There are a couple ways that you can write your code. And here I have some examples for you. On the very left side, we have something called a command line interface or CLI. A command line interface is a pure text-based user interface. For example, Python has a interactive command line interface, and I can enter it by typing Python 3. Here I can start writing my code. For example, print 2 plus 3, press enter, and it gives me the result 5. This is very easy to use for editing or testing short lines of code. Instead of using a pure text-based approach, you can also write your code in a graphical user interface, or GUI. This could be your favorite text editor or even Microsoft Word. So here in the middle, I have a very simple uh, text editor open with the exact same line of code, print 2 plus 3. After I edit it, I just need to save this file with the extension of .py to indicate this is a Python file, or .java uh, for Java files 
um, etc. to just indicate the type of program and programming language. Here, um, it's much easier to visualize and edit my code, uh, save it, and execute it later. But this is just a simple text editor, and it's not really designed for coding. It won't provide you much more than a simple canvas to write your code in. The most common way to code is through what we call an IDE, or Interactive Development Environment. An IDE is similar to a text editor, but it offers much more advanced functionalities uh, designed for coding. So for example, color coding your code, uh, checking the syntax, um, debugging options or testing options, etc. On the right side, I have an example of an IDE for you. This IDE is called Sublime Text. It's super easy to get started with. Um, there are many IDEs out there depending on the developer's preference. So here you can see the exact same line of code is now color coded depending on if it's a keyword, if it's a number, or if it's an addition sign. Um, I can even run this directly inside this IDE. It'll give me the result 5. So that's it for our first lesson. Hopefully you have a basic understanding of how programming works now. See you in the next lesson.